Chinese ice creams opened their doors in Austin, Texas in 1984. Since then, it's grown to include 15 stores in three cities. Amy's Ice Cream's vision is to build a 100-year-old company. With 60% of Amy's staff being under 21, they wanted a way to not only educate their team, but also develop an entrepreneur and training program to grow future business leaders. They've used open book management to develop a framework of common language that gets everyone working on the business. It helps to keep everyone on the same page and working together to reach common goals. Their development of leaders is working and helping them have a major impact on their team members' lives. So before I really got in depth of learning how breaking a business works, uh, it was very daunting and scary for me. I was very young when I first started here, 16 years old. I was super shy when I first started here and I only wanted to be the scoop and that was it. I just wanted to scoop the ice cream, talk to my people and you know go home after that. Eventually you start ending up doing things that you never thought you would do such as become a manager. You're not only working there but you can teach, you can go home and express these things to other people. Hey this is this is a business model that you guys should try to put yourselves into because I can see how this company is positively influenced just from them teaching their employees. Y'all are super important in this company. You're not just selling things. Y'all are the deciding factor of if this company is gonna do well or bad. Amy's has seen significant growth since they began playing the great game of business in 2006. As an example, their income has skyrocketed by 250%. The team at Amy's uses creative thinking to develop fun mini games and engage new employees at company huddles. Amy's team knows that the great game is the best way to run a business that's inclusive and allows them to actively collaborate and communicate effectively. Way to go, Amy's Ice Creams. You're an all-star.